So let's talk a little bit about foot position. Knee position, uh, uh, foot position and knee position. So knee position, I never want to cross center line. Obviously what I just showed you is in the beginning if I cross center line, he can smash it from the beginning. But later there's also no reason. So if we get here, and even if originally I'm perfect, if I start doing stuff like this, there's just a, a little more of a chance for him to stuff it, right? If I'm too wide, there's a chance for him to come down the middle and start hitting me, right? So I'm looking to be between his center line and his left shoulder, right? Kind of right across the chest here. And I'll talk about this in a second. Um, that's my knee position, good? My foot position is the bottoms of my feet are right on his pelvic bone. And I can't emphasize this enough. One of the things I want you all to try for yourself, don't, don't trust me, but try for yourself, is the difference between feeling the pelvic bones with the bottom of your feet and being an inch lower on the thighs or an inch higher on the waist. So many people get comfortable if you go down, go ahead, right here, and get into that posture, right? So you're on your side, good. You're here, yeah, I can't touch you, you can touch me, this is perfect. And, and freeze, because you feel perfect right now. What I can feel as the person on top is that his left foot is correctly placed on my pelvic bone, but his right foot is stepping on my thigh. And this is a really key difference, because anyone, when I, brought, I feel someone on my thigh, I have mobility there to start coming in, right? If he's on my pelvic bone, that's the one place on my body that I have no mobility. It's really the center. I have a lot of mobility in my hip joints below the pelvic bone, and my spine gives me a lot of mobility above the pelvic bone. So if we switch, I just want you to close your eyes and feel the difference, because sometimes you can't see it in the camera, but he'll feel it. So when I get into position, if I'm correct and I'm right here, do you feel how I'm on that bone? Versus if I'm here, just slide one leg back and try to, yeah, and now come over the top, good. Now slide the other leg back and come over the top. Exactly. It's because I'm an inch low, I'm, I'm on his thighs. If I'm on his pelvic bone, put some pressure on me. Good. And then slide either leg back. There's, no, there's a lot of movement of his legs, but there's no movement of his pelvic bone. Right? And that's going to be exactly the same when we stand up. So it's, it's very specifically here. If you feel this, now do it. Yeah, exactly. Big difference. Right? Or even here. You just got, yeah, exactly. So, kneeling, half kneeling, standing, it's all the same. I want the bottoms of my feet on his pelvic bone. That's to stay connected and because there's no mobility in the pelvic bone. The other reason is a typical knee shield will actually dangle foot exactly where someone wants to heel hook it or toe hold it, depending on the rules and depending on his preferences. But if I get into a more classical knee shield like this, just wrap the heel. It's right there. Or turn your back to me for a second, go over, yeah, it's right there, right? Why would I give him that grip? Maybe I can deal with it, but it's unnecessary if my foot position is correct. So if you, watching this the first time, if you just get one or two things out of it, let me, let me talk about what those are. The heel hook is what I'm really concerned about. It's a lot more dangerous than the straight foot lock. If my instep, faces my partner, he can just wrap the heel hook. If my instep faces my partner here, he can wrap the inside heel hook. Just, no, just the heel hook right here, yeah, which is even more dangerous. So what's the opposite of that? If the soles of my feet stay in contact with his pelvic bone, wrap a heel hook, Sorry. it's backwards, yeah. structurally backwards. Can he do a straight foot lock? Sure, we'll work on that. But there's no reason for me to start in a position that puts me exactly where he wants me, which is my instep against his body. If my soul is against his body, there's nothing. I right, try the heel up. It just doesn't happen. I'm hidden. My own stance hides that. If he gets into an open guard position, a knee shield position, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. It should be very difficult to get this. And he's just putting it there for me. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for frequent updates because we're updating this every week. And make sure you comment and like and share our videos. We appreciate it and we definitely try and respond to all the comments. And if you like what we're doing and you like the material, check out SPG University, SPGU. 
uh, and you're going to see a ton more uh, in, in much greater depth than what you see here on YouTube. Thank you very much.